Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are taking payment from the customer at the time of sale for a purchase that they are making, you enter the transaction into a sales receipt. You can create a sales receipt by selecting Customers from the menu bar and then choosing the Enter Sales Receipts command. In the Enter Sales Receipts screen, you enter information much in the same way that you use an invoice. Also, just as with invoices, you can select which sales receipt template to use by selecting one from the template drop-down that's available in the upper right corner of the form. You enter the customer's information into the sales receipt by either selecting a customer from the Customer Job drop-down or by manually entering the customer's information into the Sold To field. You can then enter data into any of the other customer fields as needed. Be sure to enter the date of the sale by selecting that date from the Date Calendar drop-down. Then select the Method of Payment from the Payment Method drop-down. If they pay by check, you can enter their check number into the Check Number field. Then enter the line items used in the sales transaction by selecting the items from the Item column in the Line Item area. Then enter the quantity and rate or amount for each item as needed. Now if this receipt is to be printed later, ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. Once you've entered the necessary sales information, you can then just click the Save and Close button to save the sales receipt and close the window. Money received through a sales receipt is deposited into an undeposited funds account by default. There is no receiving payment at a later point in time when using a sales receipt as you have taken the payment up front. You simply save and close the screen to enter the sale. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.